Hello and welcome to Apex 2021 Virtual Exposition. My name is Chip King and we're here live today with you from Fuji America Corporation's Technology Center. Hope everybody's having a great show and enjoying it. We'd like to talk to you today about odd form handling, component handling. I'm sure many of you out there in the uh, market are challenged with all kinds of odd form requirements, uh, back-end assembly processes that require a lot of human interaction, uh, manual assemblies. We are looking at the future for automating all those practices and processes for our users. Fuji's now brought to the market, I'd like to introduce to you the SFABD Odd Form Flexible Placement Platform. As you can see, this particular system is geared and designed to handle a very large variety of different component by hand, uh, manual hand assembly processes. So as we are uh, competitions out there, it is very important that we have the ability to automate these processes as much as possible in order to maintain compatibility and competitiveness. Fuji brings to you the SFAB-D and the SFAB series of families that provide a variety of automated odd form insertion capabilities. The SFAB-D we're showing you here today is a small footprint, highly flexible, single gantry assembly system. The gantry system has two placement heads as you can see from the uh, uh, machine image here. This particular system is configured with a left side odd form head and a right side uh, eight nozzle high speed head. Both capable of vacuum nozzles and or custom tooling or mechanical grippers. So as you can imagine, a placement head that can automate eight components with mechanical tooling at the same time and process, you're going to get you a lot of throughput speed and capability. The tooling is diverse in its wide range of handling functionality from mechanical gripper uh, kits to custom vacuum style nozzles, both supporting axial, radial, and odd form component handling. So a wide variety of different types of tools available for any type of application that might be needed. Many of these tools from the multi-purpose mechanical chuck kits can actually be reconfigured and tooled on the fly to adapt to changing needs of components as uh, you need on the production floor. So a wide variety of tooling available for these applications. As you can see, the component range can be diverse. Anything from axial and radial type uh, caps, filters, uh, relays, connectors, coils, um, large electrolytic caps, and as you can imagine, these large electrolytic caps provide a, a, a challenge to the assembly process with requirements for insertion accuracies. So one of the nice system uh, features that we have available for our users is polarity correction and uh, inspection and detection. So we have the ability to actually look at a top side image for polarity inspection or the bottom side image uh, as well. If there's a marking or feature on the bottom side, it can identify polarity. By utilizing this tool, you have the ability to not only identify if the polarity is correct, but auto-correct that for your placement and insertion process. So you're eliminating and mitigating all those incorrectly inserted component uh, uh, insertions. Also, variations in the lead patterns, whether they're length or bends, are uh, critical. So we can do a best fit correction for tapered leads or bent leads um, if they're within tolerance. You have the ability to do variations in lead lengths and detection on when that uh, lead detection is being uh, uh, processed for inspection purposes as well. Not only that, the system's ability to read feedback during an insertion process can guarantee you 100% insertion accuracy. You have a, a wide variety of tooling ha handling capabilities. Feeder solutions for this particular odd form uh, requirement is really the biggest challenge in odd form handling and automation of those processes. Fuji offers you axial feeding uh, systems, radial type feeding systems, tray type handling mechanisms. We also offer what we is known as the BPU or the bend picking unit. Uh, mounted to this particular system on side two that does bulk packaging. So you present your bulk packaging into a hopper and the camera systems identifies which parts can be picked up automatically and shuttles them to the front for pickup. So sequencing uh, processing speed is paramount 
for processing those odd bulk packaging as well. So as you can imagine, a variety of different uh, solutions. And we also offer stick feeding support as well. So you have a stackable stick feeding support system, bowl feeding systems. There's a variety of uh, capability built here for you uh, to address any kind of needs. Paramount to Fuji's solutions in the marketplace is our ability for our quick change placement head technologies. These placement head technologies have been carried forward into our SFAB series. This is a spinoff of our NXT series. You'll see that the form factor is very similar to an NXT platform. It's 1.2 meters wide, roughly about 8 feet deep with two device systems on it. You can also have a single side feed operation with a bypass cover on uh, either side one or side two. So if you don't need those additional feeder systems yet, you can grow into that. So it's uh, a, another option processes. The systems are all quick change. So you can exchange the tray tower system, which we are showing here. The tray system that we offer is a very diverse, wide range. Two magazine system, very similar, uh, if not exactly the same as what we offer in our SMT uh, system. So the concept technology uh, methods are all proven out. You have a 12 drawer system uh, to support your uh, drawers of the components. There's two part numbers per drawer. And the drawers are spaced out depending on the component height to manage the, those uh, clearances required for presenting those parts for pickup. There are two magazines, so as you can imagine, as a part exhaust, we will park one magazine, continuing the production of the machine while the operator reloads parts. The other magazine is in position feeding components for that process. So you have the ability to tray feed, stick feed, or tape and reel feed as well. So you can actually utilize the system to also place SMT type packaging too, should you have a mixed environment requirement. As I mentioned, this is a spinoff of our NXT and our head technologies have been maintained with our concept of constant uptime and all of our offline maintenance requirements. So as you can see, the head technologies within the SFAB have followed through from the NXT. We continue to offer dynamic, interchangeable, quick change placement heads with no tooling requirements. The operators can do this, technicians can do the same head exchange, readapt to a changing requirement for your odd form needs, and or most importantly, take this maintenance practice offline, keeping your production cells in production. Along with the placement heads, we also offer the quick changing tool stations as well, just like our SMT platform. Everything is reconfigurable. Now where we take modularity with the SmartFab system, in many applications you have robotic cells with wire cages that take up a large footprint. As you can imagine, something that's in an 8x10 or a 12x12 uh, operation area with a, a, a collaborative robot or uh, an actual arm uh, robot, they take up a lot of space where you can actually deploy into fab system now you're shrunk your space occupation on the factory floor you've increased your throughput capability by having two uh, placeable placement head systems and not only placement but you can actually incorporate a process assembly head system on the left head here so if you wanted to do soldering screw gun um, dispensing you have that capability and option available within the platform right off the shelf now when we talk about modularity, of course everything in the machine is designed to be reconfigurable to adapt to changing needs. That not only is restricted to your device and your heads, but also goes down to the actual conveyor system itself. The machine is available to you with a standard conveyor, a cut and clinch conveyor that offers inward, outward, and end clinching capabilities, as well as selective soldering, another feature that's coming uh, available to the marketplace that helps incorporate selective soldering app uh, requirements into the system. Reel-to-reel, uh, -reel, solar panel manufacturing, uh, any type of other unique conveyance requirement, a lift and articulate uh, conveyor system is also available for that application requirement where you have a 3D assembly process where you're not placing onto a flat surface, so we need to articulate and rotate an assembly uh, substrate so that you have a flat surface to insert and or place to. As those systems are all available in a quick change setup concept from Fuji. Again, this system is a double-sided uh, feeding operation system and also in conjunction with or continuing with our 
uh, ease of operator interface. The SFAB also incorporates a touch screen pictorially driven interface uh, device for the operation team and your engineering staff to work with. As you can see, very simple commands. If you want to go in and do a manual operation, we can go in and activate different functions and features um, that will allow us to move uh, systems around manually and or unclamp device systems to cha for changeover processes and things of that nature. Very simple system, very robust, very dynamic. Now the SFAB-D is the odd form system that's going to go at the back end of your SMT processes. We also have another SFAB series called the SFAB Alpha. This is our high speed axial radial jumper wire insertion platform. It's a very small footprint machine that configures up to three system processes within a single platform. That system also incorporates a quick change device table up, up, of up to 25 actual radial feeder systems that can be quickly exchanged from product A to product B transitions. So another SFAB solution brought to you from Fuji. And then the newest introduction is the SFAB SH platform coming to the marketplace. So the capability of your SFAB-D gives you capability over a 70 millimeter, over 70 millimeter tall placement requirement. The SFAB-SH is the lower profile platform that does the same capabilities as our SFAB-D, but on a little bit smaller scale with, for uh, applications that don't require such large component clearances. Another solution Fuji's bringing out to the marketplace, available to the uh, customers and users out there, to provide a solution to address your automation needs for odd form and back-end assembly processes. We hope today's uh, informative uh, presentation was a benefit to all of you out there. We enjoyed spending the time with you and look forward to uh, seeing you on our next presentation. If there are any questions from the uh, audience, I'd love to take those um, and address those for you. No questions as of today. It was a great pleasure uh, presenting to you today. Look forward to seeing you at our next show. We have another one today at 3. And again, of course, join us again tomorrow. And if you'd like to do a deep dive and dig in much more uh, detailed information about any of these platforms, please do reach out to our sales staff so we can set up a more one-on-one -on -one dedicated dive uh, virtual you to better your schedule. Stay tuned. Enjoy the show. We'll talk to you and see you on the next show.